Welcome back to The Rustic Wife, I'm Alana. Have you ever picked yourself up some really beautiful hanging baskets from the nursery or wherever and they're beautiful for about maybe a month or two and then they get really weedy and leggy and they just don't look good and they just don't seem to hold water or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you what I did to mine and some footage of what they look like before and what they look like now. If you buy these hanging baskets at the store, they're, they're generally just in one of these, it's just about a, a 12 inch plastic pot with these um, hangers here. Well, your hanging baskets will look good for maybe a month or two. And then by midsummer, they look like this, even though you've watered them and fertilized them. But what happens is they'll get root bound. And no matter how much water or fertilizer you give them, they're just gonna look like this. The water just kind of runs through. It just doesn't seem to retain any water. So what you can do is you can actually, when you get them home, see these little clips here? You can just remove the hanging basket clip. And there's three of them so that you can take the, um, the, the flowers out and put them in a new pot. So like I said, these are about a 12 inch pot. They, they should probably be in about a 15 inch pot. That'll give your roots plenty of time to stretch out and um, you know, then allow, <laughs> oh, just stop it. <laughs> Get out of here. They'll allow um, the nutrients to be absorbed. And you can also replace the soil too when you get them home because the stuff that they have in the store is usually, it's got a lot of drainage and it's kind of light. So you can do that. But obviously I haven't repotted mine. So in my case, I'm actually just gonna trim mine back because they're really weedy because I didn't repot them. So the best thing to do is repot them when you get them and then feed and water them. And then if they do get weedy later, do what I'm gonna do. And um, the cat just jumped on me. And then you can, uh, take all that weedy business off and, and have them grow back nicely. So you can see <clears throat> these branches have gotten quite leggy here and um, deadheading them is not going to do anything. So I need to cut some of these branches back so that they start to grow more full and make it pretty again. So you see this branch through here it comes from the root. And it's got all of this on it. You don't want to cut that back. But these offshoots here, you can just see, it's, it's hard to see, but get that leaf out of the way. This offshoot here from the main branch, it's grown up and quite leggy, so I'm going to cut that back to about there. There are new buds on it, but I want the I want them to be more full. I want them to look like this versus like that. I want them thicker and more full. So you can actually see where things become weedy here. See the the leaves in there are more full, the branches are thicker. And then they come out to this, really spindly and leggy. So I want to cut those back to about there and cut off all this weedy business. So there, I've cut that back. That looks better already. So again, here's a good example right here. Although, although there's pretty little flowers on it, you can see what that stem looks like. It's really long and weedy, so you can cut these back. I, I'm no expert, but I just like to give things a trim every once in a while, and it generally rejuvenates everything. But I'll probably cut that back to about there, which is about um, about a quarter, maybe a bit, of, maybe a, bit, a little bit further back to about there. So it's about mm, not not half, maybe a little bit more than a quarter of the branch, just to get rid of that, again, weedy branch. There's my dogs hanging out. So just to about, 
Maybe about there. Oh, there's another one there too. So bring that one back. So that looks nicer. I've got these little leggy bits. I'll just put those in the compost. Now it might look drastic now, but it will look much prettier once they start to bloom again and healthier. You also want to make sure you get rid of these. These are little seed um, pods here. I'll show you there. Those are full of seeds. I mean, you can keep some of the pods and let them dry out to collect the seeds, but if you want the flower to bloom more, you want to get rid of those seed pods because all the energy is going into making these seed pods and not the flowers. So I just wanted to show you the difference. I mean, most people know, but just in case you don't, um, that is the seed pod. And here is new growth for um, a blossom. So just in, in case you're thinking that that is going to open up to be a blossom, that won't, that's the seed pod. And here's a better example of the new bloom here. So here's an example of one of those little seed pods that dried out and opened up. So you can actually just take those seeds and put them, I would usually just put them on a plate and let them dry out um, completely and then store them in an envelope and, and plant them next year. So that's opened up and released its seeds. It may look like earwig poop before you really zone in and have a look really closely, but those are tiny little petunia seeds. Anyway, this is the one that I've pruned back and it looks quite drastic, but it'll be better. And this one here is the one that I haven't done yet. So it's got flowers on it and I really hate to cut the flowers off, but, but it's a must. So I'll give this a really good water and I will also give it some fertilizer too, to give it a, a little Bit more of a jump start there so they both had a haircut and i will like i said water them and i've already given them water before i prune them but i'll water them and give them a shot of miracle grow <clears throat> and hopefully they get rejuvenated so here are the hanging baskets now and earlier I showed you that I trimmed them right back. They were getting so weedy and really awful looking. And they were starting to, some of the um, flowers had dropped off and they were starting to go to seed. But anyway, they look much better. And so that's it, just a really quick video and something really easy to fix your leggy hanging baskets. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time.